paste to visible cells only in Excel. Hi, this is Extend Office. In this video, we will talk about methods to paste one or multiple values to visible cells only in Excel. First, let's see what will happen when performing a normal copy and paste. As you see here, I have a column of numbers ranging from 1 to 8. Rows with numbers 3 through 6 are hidden. Normally, when I copy the number 10 and attempt to paste it into visible cells after unhiding the rows, the entire column is filled with the number 10. To ensure we are pasting only to the visible cells, first, press Ctrl and C to copy the value 10. Then, select the column of numbers, and finally, press Alt and semicolon to select just the visible cells within the column. With the visible cells selected, press Ctrl and V to paste the copied value. Unhide the rows, and you'll see the pasted value appears only in the previously visible cells. In this section, with our filtered table, I'll demonstrate how to update the stock count for the visible fruits using new figures, from cells A10 through A12 as an example. First, select the column to the right of the visible data, and apply a fill color. You can choose any color you like. I'm coloring outside the table because I don't want to mess with the original data's color. On the Data tab, select Clear to clear the applied filter. Then right-click on one of the colored cells and select Sort, put selected cell color on top. The previously visible rows that were scattered across the table are now collectively located at the top. Simply copy the updated stock counts from cells A10 through A12 and paste them to replace the ones in cells C2 through C4. In this way, we can easily copy multiple values and paste them to previously visible cells. Note that this method disrupts the original data sequence. You will need to manually restore them if you have to. If you wish to preserve the original order, consider the following approach with a helper column. In this section, we will learn how to paste multiple values to visible cells only while preserving the original data order using the same example. Before filtering rows, add a helper column to the right of your data and fill it with sequential numbers. Note that if you already have your data filtered, you should clear the filter and then add the helper column. Then, filter the data. Click the arrow next to fruit, and then, select bananas, oranges and pineapples to filter the related rows. Then, select the visible cells in the helper column and apply a fill color. On the data tab, select clear to clear the applied filter. Then, right click on a colored cell and select sort. Put selected cell color on top. Now that the previously visible rows that were scattered across the table are now collectively located at the top, select the updated stock counts from cells A10 through A12 and press Ctrl and C to copy them. Then paste them to replace the ones in cells C2 through C4. Finally, sort the values in the helper column from smallest to largest to restore the data to its original order. As you can see, the stock count for oranges, pineapples and bananas are updated. You can delete the helper column if it's no longer needed. In this section, I'll demonstrate how to paste both values and formatting to visible cells only, bypassing filtered out or hidden cells. Here I have a list where the rows containing numbers from 3 to 6 are hidden. To paste values from cells A12 through A15 along with formatting to the visible cells in the range A2 through A9 only. First, select the cells containing values to be copied. Then, navigate to the QTools tab and select Paste to Visible. A dialog box will appear. Select the top cell where you will paste the values to and click OK. Upon unhiding the rows, you can see that the values are pasted only to the cells that were visible initially. If you want to paste values excluding formatting and formulas, you can use the Only Paste Values option by clicking the arrow next to Paste to Visible and selecting Only Paste Values.
In this example, I will update the stock count for the visible fruits with the new stocks marked in red using the fill functionality. Note that this method works when pasting to cells made visible by a filter. If your data has rows that were manually hidden, the fill functionality will not paste values to visible cells only. First, select the destination cells where to paste values. Then, press and hold the control key and select the values we want to copy. On the home tab, select fill, left, to fill the values from right to left. Once I clear the filter, you'll see that only the stock counts previously visible in column C are updated. And here's the thing, the fill feature drops both the values and the formatting into cells. There's no way to just paste the values without the format coming along. And, to use the fill functionality, we should have the values we are copying and pasting aligned in rows. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.